Welcome back for some more high quality content from the Pioneer Boys. I don't know if that's... Mike, do you ever get tired of being barfed to Frank's Lone Star? <laughs> that's funny. Alright, so we're actually playing this, uh, this white-green Enchantress deck that was, uh, that went 5-0 in a league here. Um, it went 5-0, I'm gonna name, it was played by The One Hunter on, uh, Magic Online. Four Starfield Mystics and four Herald of the Pantheons, both of which decrease the cost of your enchantment spells. They both have abilities, this one gains you a life, this one gets a counter. They're both similar, except one's a Centaur Shaman, one's a Human Cleric. Four Commune with the Gods, which gets any creature or enchantment in the top five cards. Very similar to like an Ancient Stirrings type card. Four Courser and two Banishing Light. Four Cast Out. Four Eidolon of Blossoms, which is one of the best engines a deck like this could have. Uh, two Sigil of the Empty Throne. Three Sigil of the Empty Throne, which is amazing. Two Starfield of Nyx and two Sphere of Safety. Five, these five are great win conditions. These two are nice defensive cards. And then Mana Bloom, which just triggers all of these things. And, uh, <coughs> and then you can just keep bouncing it, keep recasting it. So it's a nice little trick. And, uh, you know, sideboard, we have Deafening Silence, Baffling End, Mastery of the Unseen, Protection of the Hecma for five mana. If a source and opponent controls deal damage, print one of it. Uh, Solemnity and Bow of Nylia. Those are all enchantments, so they're all going to go with our little theme here. And then four Veil of Summer, which is a lot. Because that card is the nut. No, 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 it. What? It's a counterspell that draws you a card. What's Seder Enchanter? The yeah, I like that guy a lot actually. Seder Enchanter is definitely on my radar. S A T Y R. That we we played that guy in our in our own. Let me cast an enchantment spell, draw a card, and you also it's just a cast trigger, not a uh, not a resolve. Well, why is trigger. that guy not on this list? I don't know, my dude. That guy seems like the nut. Okay, you stop talking about your nuts. I'm talking about the legumes. No, you're not. Yeah, I'm talking about the legumes. Okay, this looks like a mulligan too. You look like a mulligan, too. Dang. Also, I didn't understand that reference about uh, Barf to Lone Star. You never seen Spaceballs, either? Oh. Oh, God. I have seen that movie, but it was only once. Oh. Also, I have shit memory, so. I have seen that movie. Is that because your dad left? Yeah, I think that's why. He took his, my memory with him. He took your memory with him? Yeah. Wow, that's messed up, dude. Mike, have you ever tried... Pietos? I recommend the ma masala flavor. I don't know what that is. Please explain further. Let's see how many lands are in this deck. 22 <clears throat> again. Boy, these 22 land decks are... Are you sure I want to drop? No, I didn't. I just want to open it. Why would it ask me that? Mike's dad didn't actually leave. Mike just forgot about him. Wow. Jesus. Pitos are Cheetos, but made of peas with better flavors. So they'd be called Pitos, like Cheetos. Well, that seems weird to me. Why? Are Cheetos made of rice? What? What? I thought they were made of factory. I thought they were made of factory. What? Did, you never heard of that? <clears throat> never heard of what? They were made of rice. Are they? I think so. Get the fuck out. Heard of that here. before. Or corn or whatever. See, maybe not. You ain't never had a Michael B. Mike, should I order donuts on Seamsless? I don't know what Seamsless is. I'm assuming that's a delivery service. And it depends on the quality of the donut because it's probably going to be expensive to get donuts delivered. Dan's doesn't care about all that. She just wants some donuts, my dude. Also, I imagine in New York they have good donuts. Because and, they have good everything there. And Dan's has that computer magic money, so she's fine. One mic ahead of the mic B. Mic B, and that's no joke. Mic B. He's a mic B. E. Cheetos are made of styrofoam and cheese, that's correct. 
Dan's is famous. People just bring her donuts. That's probably true. Well, if someone's literally just bringing you donuts for free, then yeah, I would highly recommend that. What well, problem is? Is the AMA mm-hmm. over yet? It, it's never over. I gotta go to bed soon. Yeah. What? Are you serious? No. Oh, I was like, <laughs> what? You son of a bitch. LOL, I'm not that fine. Yeah, see, donuts can be expensive. She's got donut money, trust me. What gets banned next in Pioneer? Mike's dad. Someone told me that the mid bite. <clears throat> someone told me mid bite that Cheetos had a five percent chance of giving me cancer, and I just eat ninety five. And I, someone told someone. Someone told me mid bite that Cheetos have a five percent chance of giving me cancer, and I just eat eaten ninety five. I think is what they're trying to say. Eaten, not eat ninety five. I don't know though. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if what you're saying. I'm pretty sure like literally every substance on the in the universe has a five percent chance of giving you cancer. What about my dad? Hundred percent. He slapped the cancer right into you. <laughs> what? Really? You think so? Yeah. Will Oko get banned? I don't know. Again, Why? He hasn't it's been not, showing up in a lot of decks. It's not even that threatening right now. I'm just saying, if I was going to guess another card, I would just guess that. Oh, did you say? Oh, you said that? That wasn't a yeah. chat thing? Yeah, no, it's just not It's not really... Like, like if I had to pick one to be banned, I'd, I could see it. Well, you know what, Michael? Thankfully, you don't have to pick one. You're right, I don't. Yeah. Because you know what I would pick? Nothing. I'd unban everything and let the format be crazy. Why would you do that? Well, okay, I cannot, maybe I'd ban Sahili. I cannot believe you've done this. I might ban Sahili. Really? After they already banned Feldar Guardian? I don't ban the Guardian, but ban the, the Sahili. That way, that one guy about 95 can get screwed. I don't know what you're saying right now. I think he's already screwed, man. I don't think Sahili's going to maintain its value when Felidar Guardian's gone. Are we dead? Okay. Bring in deafening silence. Why not just ban islands? Shake things up. Islands in the stream. That is what I actually you think know. if you're going to ban a color, I think green is the most suspect in Pioneer. I think green seems like the strongest. Green? Color. Green, yeah. It's kind of like green. <clears throat> that's I think that's weird. the strongest color in Pioneer. Green? Yeah. Breen? Yeah. Like, how do you even ban islands as far as, like, what, what's the terrifying blue card? My dad? Your dad's blue card? Green is more problematic, but blue is blue. It's like an asshole. And, like, there's terrible counter spells in this format. There's no, like, super good blue spells except for, like, maybe Dig. I don't know. Green, like, blue blue does not seem like the enemy of this format. No, there's no Cryptic Command. There's no <clears throat> Remand. There's no Mana Leak. There's no Snapcaster. There's no Serum Visions. There's, there's nothing. There's nothing, guys. There's, like, Opt, which isn't even really that good of a card. You just play it because it's the only thing you have. Keep. From one card. Well, green has the best cantrip and the best counter spell in the format. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna bottom this. Not excited about it. Mike, if your dad was a magic card, what would he be? Disappear? Is disappear a magic card? There's probably a card named that. I bet there is. <clears throat> I'm 
totally lost. If your dad was a was an X Files character, who would it be? Little green man. Far away. I was thinking the cigarette smoking man. Is that a character on the X Files? Yes. Does he smoke cigarettes? You know, it'd be real weird if he didn't, huh? Does he smoke cigarettes? Is he like a shadowy figure who smokes cigarettes? Yeah, kind of. Guess I shouldn't even watch the show then. I already know all about it. Might as well not. <coughs> Does the smoke monster from Lost smoke cigarettes? Who's to say? Does your dad? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Or at least he did. I don't know if he does now. Wow. Did he really? Yeah. What a smoking piece of shit. <laughs> From one corner to another. Aha. Uh -huh. Watch, it's going to be a land on top. You ready? Yeah, you're ready. Ah. Oh. Maybe he went smoking like the man. Smoking! Wow, that's rude. This card's great. It's just strictly better shock, right? Wow, strictly better. Yeah. That's crazy. I know. I'm with you, Mike B. My dad is also a POS who is thankfully sitting in prison right now. Huh. My dad is not currently in prison, so I guess your dad's probably worse than mine, but... No, your dad's still a criminal. That's a smooth criminal from Michael Jackson. Remember that guy? He's not a criminal. He's just a piece of shit. A shit criminal. A shit criminal. I can keep. I can keep going, man. Where are you going? My dad's. Yeah. Yeah. What are you gonna do there? Uh, some tuna sandwiches. Have a dad, probably. I'm probably going to my dad's house to have a dad. If yeah. you didn't go to his house, would you not have one anymore? Yeah. Hmm. Shout out to little Boofy though. We remember you, buddy. Free little Boofy. <laughs> Yep, this is. Does this? <clears throat> oh, this is creature only. Though. That's why. Oh, okay. okay. I was like, wow, that seems real good. Are we dead here? I feel like we're not doing well. Mike, what's your favorite old drain card? Tim Tom Timothy, the tumbling. That's not a card. Timber. Just answer the fucking question, Michael. I don't know the names of cards in this format. Oko, I guess. Really, you're just gonna name the most, the most mm. popular card, huh? <laughs> What's your favorite Nickelback song? Oh no, Photograph, I guess. Oh wow, the the uh, one, the only one you can think of is your favorite. Wow, that's really convenient. I prefer We All Want to Be Rock Stars. Why don't you just kill me now? You have 12 power on board. You have uh, 24 power on board. Can we just end the game? Oh my god. Jesus. I think Once Upon a Time is pretty cool. It's kind of like saying, like, what's your favorite Pokemon? Aces. Right, but, like, people don't only like cards in Magic because they're the best card. Right? That's there's a, true. There's a lot of criteria to liking a card. Whereas, like, the only thing you want to do in poker is just win and have the best hand. Oh, there's plenty of people who don't think, like, have the favorite hand. Really? Yeah. More than, like, 
pocket aces like yeah really yeah like the like almost nobody's favorite like <clears throat> that is the best hand but like a lot of people prefer like they have like this one hand that, that they've been lucky with or they like in particular it's pretty common actually finally found Mike B Mike oh, favorite card in Legacy Powered Cube I'm curious for a reason beyond curiosity favorite card in Legacy Powered Cube uh, I guess well that would be a vintage cube right because it's got Just power in it question Michael oh there's no legacy powered cube because that would yeah if it has power then it's vintage if you mean legacy cube probably like what is your favorite card of Eldraine I like card of Eldraine that's a funny the funny way to say that um the answer is Gristlebrand I really like Gristlebrand Gristlebrand's an intern of Eldraine that was a, I was asking the powered cube the question the legacy cube question I was asking the powered legacy cube question frankly I don't know the names of the Eldraine cards I like the fairy that like makes fairies the fairy that the makes legendary. fairies it's like when, whenever you cast an artifact or enchantment you make a 1-1 one, one fairy and your flyers get plus 1 plus 1 and it has like flying death touch and lifelink I think I know what you're talking about. It's one of the brawl cards, though. It's not like a it's not like a regular set card. You can't like open it in packs. Oh, it's not a regular packs. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Um. Hmm. It's a good question, Dan's. It's a good question. Mike B, do you have any aspirations to have some kinds and maybe run out of them? What does that mean? It's a weird question. It's worded very weirdly. I should just play my my, my my should play my land, I guess. Aces are hard to play. Uh, it depends on the situation. Post flop, they can be a little tricky. Wow, they're just killing all my things. Asking what my favorite Nickelback song is like asking what my favorite STD is. Wow. It's aggressive. Like, what's your favorite Pokemon? I've already answered this before, but Raichu. I really like Raichu. I think he looks real cool. He likes Snorlax. <laughs> <laughs> You're so ready for that. Wow. It's your favorite, man. I'm just trying to... Wow, which of these five mana enchantments do we want to hit? Sigil? Yeah, almost Spear. no one's favorite hand is Aces. See? My favorite hand is aces. But I suck. Oh, I do like Fires of Invention. Yeah, if I had to pick one, I would just say Fires of Invention, Dan's. I think that card is super sweet. That is a cool card. Buddy, I know. Okay, so... Wait, did these other cards go to the graveyard? Oh, that's crazy. All right. I mean, aces are only like a 70% equity hand, so they're pretty good, but they can definitely lose. They lose 30% of the time. All these decks that went 5-0 in leagues uh, are not really impressing me. They don't impress me much. You like that in Schneider? <laughs> <laughs> that don't impress me much. Oh, 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 I gotta, like, 70 30 and against and any and random hand. Uh, it's worse if, like, someone has... If you have a pocket pair, it's, like, 80-20. It might be, like... It might be 85-15. I'm not sure exactly with pairs, but... Against any two random lower cards, it's, like, 70-30. Hero's Downfall is legal in this format? Yeah. I guess it would be, because it's in Theros. Correct. Hmm. What is the best hand to bust aces? Just not I'm about to bust. There's not really a best hand for that. But like random lower lower two suited connectors have a decent chance of busting them. Especially if you're suited and your suit is not the same as the aces. So My name is Michael B. I live under the sea. I'm made of trees.
trees. You're made of trees? Wow. Don't that's ask amazing. Me, please, Michael Bees. It is amazing. I'm glad you're appreciative of my pseudo connectors with a bunch of friends in the pot. Yeah. You don't want to play aces against like four people. That's pretty bad usually. Yes, I do. You don't know me. <laughs> you don't know my life. <laughs> What if I play this guy? What are you going to do about that? I'll counter it. <sighs> so are you three betting with aces? Like 100% of the time, yeah. Mike, what kind of cake did you have for your birthday? Chocolate. Did you have chocolate? Actually, I've never had a chocolate cake for my birthday. So you just lied? Yeah. It's really weird. Why would you lie about that? Actually, usually what I like, I like carrot cakes and I like pumpkin pie for birthdays. These are my birthday pies. <laughs> are you one of those weird frog people from Star Wars? Who are you talking to like that? You. How dare you? Carrot cake is for cartoon rabbits, Mike. Wow. Mike, what's your favorite squash? These are, these questions are getting real specific. Just just answer the question, Michael. Butternut? B -b -b Butternut? Actually, it's probably zucchini. That's a squash, right? Technically. You're a squash. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Oh, wow. We just win the game? I guess mm -hmm. the blue lactic can't deal with this because we just get back sigil. We cast out this thing. We get back a thing. Yeah, you're probably going to win. Wow, that's pretty sweet. Oh, Veil vale of Summer? Yeah, boy. <laughs> I guess Sphere of Safety can come out. I don't think they're attacking us. We can get rid of... You're a squash. I believe that's a Gotham. Yeah. Yeah. Mike, what's your favorite spaghetti? What does that mean? Yeah. Does that mean my favorite type of noodle? Yeah. Or do you mean my favorite noodle dish? Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite spaghetti and why is it spaghetti squash? Yeah. Okay. There's a follow-up. I got you. Yeah. Can you stop? Yeah. <laughs> but you won't. Okay, well, you don't know. Spaghetti O's are the correct answer. Wow. Not as good. Much better. Here, this is how it goes, right? Like. Messed it up. Man, whatever, bitch. Mike, what will it take for you to smack Frank? I don't know. How much would someone have to donate for Mike to slap me? That's a real question for you, right? Yeah, I guess so. Because it was for me, I'd be like a dollar. <laughs> 50 bucks and Mike can slap me across the face. 50 bucks? That's that's it? It's not. I mean, it's not just a slap, right? How hard are we talking? I don't want to do it. What if someone paid you to do it? And I approved it. I guess then it'd be okay. I mean, don't like break my jaw or anything, but like. <laughs> That'd be a hell of a slap. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. I got big hands, man. Ten slap Frank bits. I got big hands. I know, dude. That's what I'm saying. All right, maybe maybe more than 50 then. You're kind of scaring me now. I got big old gorilla palms. You do have big old gorilla palms. You've got hair on the back of them. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Is that from all the masturbatory habits you have? No, it's just because I'm a. I'm a man. Every man has hair on the back of their hands. I don't. Prove me wrong. I see it right now. Shut up, man. Right don't there. look at my... Don't stop looking at the back of my hands, pervert. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you should wear gloves. You ever think about that? You were kind of asking for it. I did. <laughs> wow. <laughs> maybe it's the way your hands were dressed. All throw 25 on it if someone puts the other 25. Jesus. Wow. Oh, God. What have you committed to, man? Oh, you messed up. Getting hit in the face. It is Elk Day, my dudes. Wow, they negated this Mana Bloom? Oh, they have different negates in their deck? Oh, God.
man. These fucking lands, these fucking decks with the 22 lands, dude. These are negative bits. Nobody get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Dan's, you're too pure for this world. I swear to God. Shut up and take my money. Hodge Galashi, $25. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, God. God. <laughs> uh... To be fair, you did say fifty dollars. You didn't say twenty-five. No, so could, I well, no. TPO said Hodge also the other twenty-five. So I was gonna try to make you a rule to get out of it. Cause... I don't get a rule. I just kind of. <sighs> God, it'll probably wake you up. It's probably good. For you. <laughs> it'll probably wake you up. Oh, Jesus. All right, well, we just can't hit a land, I guess. So I guess I'll just play a Herald of... Yeah, I'm going to Ness and Scatter. I'm going to Syncopate for one Thank mana. You. Blessed check. Thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Welcome back. Oh, it survived. There's no way they have a Fatal Push either, so that's good. I feel like this might be my fault since I asked it. Oh, God. Oh, look, they did. They had a bit of push. Because they always do. They always do. Well, I'm going to be honest. Having this RQL's blood fast is pretty nice. Yeah, when you have no pressure on them, that seems like a pretty good card. Shut up and take my money. Oh, God. Yep, there was the other 25. <laughs> oh, Christ. All right, man. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> that thing I your eyes. All right. <laughs> oh, that was as lightly as I could have done it. No, that was definitely not light. That was actually surprisingly good wow like it <laughs> give you a little redness it, no like it, not really no i think i'm good as far as redness it could have been a lot harder so that was still harder than i expected though well i didn't know i didn't want to do it too weak because then it looks weird and weird and it's a weird flabby hand situation so i just went for what felt natural i'm just <laughs> <laughs> jesus christ i'm waiting for someone to clip that Someone had to clip that, right? I don't think we can beat this, but... Uh... Wow, I think we had a headache now. No worse than you got yourself with the hammer. That's true, the hammer probably hurt more. It did, but this was like more of a heart, like a... It's a different kind of pain, you know what I mean? Yeah. You awake now? Jesus. That was surprisingly... Surprisingly good. It all happens so fast. <laughs> Remember, man, it's you, you could have set your dollar amount way higher, man. I'm just saying. You really I mean, it's fifty bucks, right? Like I it's not guess bad. True. It's, yeah. To be fair, you know, if, if every day at work someone said and be like, Hey, we're offering that fifty dollars for a slap you'd take it yeah, every I'd day. Be like, all right, sign me up. Yeah, it's gonna every suck, day. but I'm gonna do it. Wow. It definitely no, that was definitely a good hit. I'm still feeling it a little bit. You do have fat gorilla hands. <laughs> Worth every penny. Wow. <sighs> Mike has more like Mike's Mike's hands are more like paws. Yeah, they're pretty big. That's not really you're not gonna be able to tell because let's let's put it back to my face. Does that help? I don't know if that helps. It's about the size of his face. <laughs> Alright, man. <laughs> okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you eyes. should have done on the other right. side so it, so they could see it. Yeah. Oh, you well. can definitely hear it. <clears throat> God, I feel like...
Yeah, you did it. You hit the land. That's all you need sometimes. Can you hit another land? Man, you're good at this game. I am. I'm probably the best that's ever lived. Like, like no one ever was. You're like Tiger Woods of Magic. Yeah, basically. Except for you, you didn't win like 85 events. Other than that, though, you're close. It's basically close. the same thing, though. Yeah. Veil's like a force of will in this matchup. Yeah, Veil is a pretty stupid card. I agree with you. I actually wouldn't mind Veil getting banned. It seems a little too strong. Now $50 donation for a nice gesture like making tea. <laughs> that seems much better. 50 bucks and Michael go make me some tea, guys. I had to make you tea? Well, like with the leaves and shit? I ain't got that handy, man. I gotta go to Walmart and buy some tea. No, man, you gotta go get your own tea leaves. I gotta farm it? Yeah, man. I didn't agree to this. Well, it's not... It's not really up to you, my dude. Can I just go buy you a tea? Okay. I already went to the store, though. Here comes the gate. Oh, God. Counter target spell draw a card. Jesus. For one green? That's... What a deal. What an absolute ridiculous card. Seems good. What'd you do last night? Paid a dude on the internet to slap another dude? Wow. <laughs> it was the, it was the best moment of my life. Shut up and take my money. Oh, 25 for tea time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like you do. Like you do. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of these unmatched negates. They're really making me. Yeah, okay. $50 for a good old man hug. <laughs> Now people are just going to... We need to set a limit, okay? That, is, that was the for the slap. It was. A, is it a good old man hug? Or is it, it a good old man hug? Where is the... Uh, for now on, we have to negotiate further for other things. Dude, I'm still feeling it, to be fair. We haven't just set a precedent where we'll do anything for 50 bucks. I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, they can counter this, though, I guess. Whoa, that's crazy. All right, you got it. Michael, you're going to have to make me some tea soon, buddy. How am I going to make you tea? I don't even know how to do that, man. He doesn't even know how to make tea, guys. I don't have a tea boiler. I'll be your tea boiler. See what I did there? I guess I can go buy you in Arizona. Wow, that's really nice of you. You got to make it, man. I got to make it? I don't know how to make it. I don't have the proper equipment. Let's hope they don't have another cat. Oh, of course they do. Never, never don't have another. Never don't have multiple three counter spells. Does K cup count? I don't think so, man. Why not? Well, you see. Reasons. Oh, man. <laughs> I'd honestly rather get slapped than have to make tea, so... Wow, really? Yeah. Because I just don't have the equipment for it. Are we just, are we just giving another 25 and I'll just slap Mike? <laughs> that sounds like fun. <laughs> wow. I gave 25 for tea! That's true. That's he true. Did. He did say tea. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. All right, well, they have three cards. We have four cards. We have Master of the Unseen, which gives us a lot of... I know how to make tea, except no is N-O. So does that mean you do not know how to make tea? We're, I don't even see that message. Oh. <coughs> okay, Mike, I'm going to send a care package of chocolate cake and tea in exchange for Florida coconut patties they sell at the airport. Do they sell those at the airport? They sell those everywhere, Michael. I don't even know. Are those those like little snowballs? You mean? No, man. Like the little square coconut patties that are like covered in like key, they're like key lime flavor or chocolate flavor. I don't even think I know about those. Yeah, I, mean, I live here. You do live here. It's true. Coconut patties, Florida. These are the ones. Yep, those are like you just Google coconut patty, Florida. It they're literally these. Yep, these are the exact ones. I've never had these. 
If you Google Coconut Patties Florida and go to images, there's like a million of them. It is Wednesday, my dude. Oh, what up, Chris? It is you Wednesday. Mi- you missed the slap, Chris. Chris, Mike just slapped me. Mike just slapped me in my face. Frank offered $50 to be slapped, and the donations happened, and then, then it happened. There should be a clip of it somewhere in the chat. Oh, wait, you probably can't see it because it's old right. history. I mean, I'll just, I'll just paste it to him because my face is... God, that, that hurt that hurt surprisingly more than I thought it would. Coconut patties. And now I feel like I have to have some of these coconut patties. They're real good. I do enjoy a coconut. Coconut. <laughs> it's true. Mucho put some stank on your eyeball, my dude. He did. Yeah, they, I could have aimed dig? it better. I went right for the eyeball. Wow, that's messed up, dude. Don't go for another man's eyeball. They didn't actually mean to. It just kind of happened. I don't slap people every I day. I doubt Frank will get tea. I also doubt I will get tea. You can get coconut patties at Stuckies. What the hell's a Stuckies? Yeah, I don't know what Stuckies is. Is that that sweet Stucky Yucky Ui? The marijuana plants? What are you even saying right now? I think you really need to reevaluate your life and the things you say. Where are all the lands in this deck, man? How many does this list play? 22. That seems low. It does seem low. I agree with you. Especially when your deck has like six drops, six drops, six drops, six drops, six drops. I'm tempted to just go in on this. I'm doing it. I'm just going on the mastery. Never draw another card. Oh, it's still our main phase? That's interesting. Twenty two land only works on paper. Do you mean in paper? Definitely doesn't work on paper for me, that's for sure. Are you going to syncopate this mana balloon? <laughs> Jesus. Is that your third dig through time? Oh, se- only second dig through time. So only two it's di- only been two, two two digs, two glimmers. Only two demonic tutors? Two double, double tutors? Oh my god. I don't know about you guys, but I always draw the correct color of mana when I need it. And that's a that's a god tier superpower. I agree. Why are you crushing all the tournaments? I agree. This is never resolving, but maybe. No, no, no. way. No one hell. The stupid master in the scene is doing nothing because we're just spending all the cards in our hand, but. There used to be a Stuckies at every exit in Florida. Yeah, I've never heard of Stuckies, so. Remember when Mike slapped Frank? Boy, I do. 
I feel like the left side of my face is actually warmer than the right side of my face. You can't be still feeling the effect, man. A little bit, dude. Wow, there it is. There's that third dig through time. Oh, yeah, look at this mouse. Doing, yep, doing good. Just trying to get over to the OK button. Apparently it's OK. There we go. Just hit it a couple times. I just did. You just saw me do it. Is that like your mouse thing or is that like a moto thing? It's a mouse thing. Okay. I guess that'd be weird if it was a moto thing. I don't know how that would happen. <clears throat> I mean, if we can get to eight mana, I think our, our mastery is very, very good. Maybe they're just the East Coast. I live in Vero Beach. Maybe. Sure, you got it. Take my cast out. It's because Frank hasn't built up a tolerance for getting slapped. Mike B will have to start slapping him more frequently, like some weird MTG themed fight club. Is that a thing? We'd be the first to make it. Well, we can't talk about it though. No, we can. That's how you promote it. Oh, dang. Oh, fatal push. Sure, that's a one for none. <clears throat> to be guy. fair, they haven't actually presented any threats yet. It's true. Oh, we got a free land. All right. Gonna pass the turn, draw sigil of the empty throne. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. We're almost at eight mana. Eight mana is very, very good. So we're currently 0-1 with this deck, right? This is our second round. His name was Mutual, and he lived in a Smutual. I lived in a what? Hmm? A Smutual, you say? What are you talking about? What's a Smutual? Exactly. I wonder how the opponent wins. Maybe like one Aetherling or something. Aetherling? Mm -hmm. well, I don't know how they win now when we have double mastery on scene activations. Alright. You got it. Mm -hmm. Go to 11. Drawing two cards, drawing, paying two life a card does not seem like a winning strategy. But, uh... Yikes for me, dog. I mean, they have a lot of land. I'm actually very curious what their win condition is. Are you? Yeah. <coughs> How curious, would you say? Scale of 1 to 57. 41. Okay. Sounds about right. Ooh. <coughs> Ooh. Ooga chaka, ooga, ooga, ooga chaka, ooga, ooga. I can't stop Mac B. Living in the trees. Torrential gear. Ah, so that's the one condition. In the deer hulk. <coughs> and he's killing my dudes in the deer hulk. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, you're just digging? Interesting. Ah. 
What's it gonna be? Joke's on you, not the dumb one. <laughs> Gain two. One, two. Harold of the Pantheon. One, two, three. Idle on. Gain a life. Syncope eight, four, two. Because you never don't have that. So syncopate, syncopate, negate, negate, spell pierce, disallow, lots of things. It's only like 15 counter spells or something? It is only like 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. <coughs> Are we still talking about the coconut patties in the chat? That's insane. <sighs> TPO, thank you so much for the support, man. Really appreciate it. Have a good night. Hmm. Seems good. Pretty sure they've counted like eight spells this game. Yeah, it's pretty high. Yep, that's pretty fun. You're gonna do something at my end of turn? Or your end of turn? That's fascinating. Man, a lot of these cards I'd be like, great to draw, but. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, you got another one? Let's see it. Why would you tap the Ascanta? Oh, you're just going to activate the Ascanta? With one extra mana floating? And then you whiff. Okay. <clears throat> this is all very strange. Hmm. I'm high on my be heaving. One, two, three, four, I might be. I'm going to kill both of them in response because I have lots of removal spells. Sure. <clears throat> yep. No, oh, I got a disallow. Oh, go search for Ralph Conta. Okay. Ooh, play land. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight. We still have. That's pretty good because now we still have enough to make two gentlemen. <clears throat> Surprised we're actually in this game. Unfortunately, they can't get an extra 
bunch of life here with their stupid land. Yeah, that's fine though if they're sacking one of their wind conditions. <clears throat> True. All right. You got it. I hate blue light decks like this because they just take forever to do it. It's just so grindy, right? Like, I mean... The Elder spell? That is literal nothing. Interesting. I don't think there's a Planeswalker in our deck. Oh, wow, we just win that game. All right, cool. I did not expect us to win that game. I guess they were just out of gas. Jeez. I would definitely add another land here. As we can see, because we had to block both their guys. Right, but then we still have Corsair as a 2-4 two, two, and uh, a 2-2 two, two still, and we get to still just make, like, two guys every turn. I don't know. Four mana bloom might be... I'd rather just have one more land than a fourth mana bloom here. Because I feel like uh, abundant growth is just better. Abundant growth? The This one. Unbridled growth. Oh, yes. Oh, but they're, just, they're doing two, two different things. <clears throat> like, this ramps you, this doesn't. And it doesn't? No. This just adds any one mana bloom color. You just put on a land, you sack a draw a card. Oh, okay. okay. Never mind. Haji Gulashi, have a great night, buddy. Always a pleasure. Thank you so much for the support, my dude. You are awesome. Love you a ton. Have a great night, my dude. It is Hajgulashi, my dude. If you know what I mean. It's gonna add other planes. Also, I feel like Sphere could be in the sideboard, almost. Uh, is this a May ability? Draw a card, draw a card. I feel like you should add those guys. Those seem real good. They're not May abilities, which is kind of scary, though. That doesn't matter. Really? That's not going to get to that point. And it also doesn't get a discount from these guys. I don't know. We're still on one. really Let's good. Just try it like this for now. It's still really good. I mean, that's like part of an engine, so it seems good. Oh, is it part of an engine? I like your dog, Snoot. My dog, Snoot? Oh, this... It's actually pretty funny. You know what I like? <laughs> Beautiful Snorlax. Beautiful Snorlax sitting in the tree. Snorlaxes can't sit in trees, man. They'll break the tree. Is that true? Yeah. It's messed They're up. too big. He is the lifeblood of the stream. Is that true? I said, dang. Mike, I like your hair, bud. Thanks. What's a hair, bud? Those are two bros who like their haircuts of each other. <laughs> social, social media made y'all way too comfortable with disrespecting people not getting punched in the face. Big Frike and Mank Bugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Josh. You are a wholesome addition, my friend. And I'm a fan of yours. Hey, man. Hmm. Don't talk shit about Mike Tyson. He's a co-owner of our team. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Also, he's I'm a, not talking shit about him. I was just doing an impression. He's a partner. I, I, know, what you're, I know what you're doing, you shit-talking piece of shit. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to shit-talk Mike Tyson. <laughs> that'll, go, that'll go over good. Because I'm pretty sure I would definitely have an opportunity to meet Mike Tyson in the future at some point. Hair Bud was about a shaggy retriever that learned to play basketball. <laughs> it sure was. 
Thornwood Falls on turn one. Interesting. Oh, we're getting out of worlds after this, my dude. Don't you Don't you worry. We're gonna be playing till like five in the morning. <laughs> Huh. Thorn falls into Temple Garden. I don't know what's happening. I guess they just really need more blue green lands. Michael, let me tell you something. I guess they're the only. It's still weird. Like, not, why not play the, like, low to the ground lands? What does low to the ground lands mean? The ones that come into play uh, untapped if you have three or less lands. Why'd they take two for this? For whatever uh -oh. this is. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, okay. That's fine. Oh no! There's a Snorlax pillow I sat it sat in at GameStop that looks pretty awesome. Why didn't you get it, Dan's? If you can sit in a pillow, that's a big ass pillow. You want a candy corn, man? No. I don't want your butter. Shit. All right, let me try it again. When was the last time you tried candy corn? Like last year. Last year? Well, you try like once a year. Every year you give it another chance. Yeah. And every year I'm like, sugary butter. <laughs> Not great. Ain't that delicious though? Ain't it delicious? It's got like a weird taste to it though. I can't explain it. I actually should have played Courser first, but I guess this is still fine. Like I don't hate them. I just don't really like them. Hate us because they ain't us. Yeah, we could have got that free land. You ever try candy corn plus a peanut? <clears throat> At the no, I've never tried candy corn and a peanut. That seems super crazy. Maybe that makes them good. You ever try candy corn and a honey dip? Oh, feel the dead. That's why they're playing weird lands. Okay. You ever try a scoop? Yeah, man. Okay. You ever try a honey busket? Dude, I invented the honey buskets. You invented them? Yeah. That's impressive, man. I'm really, imp I'm really impressed with you. What is that weird thing? What weird thing? It's the, a forest, Michael. This guy. Yeah. It's just an Elvish Rejuvenator. Just looks for a land in the top five and puts it into play. Okay. 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 You know, I don't know how we eat. How we? <laughs> I don't know how we how how we how we how we how we, how we, how we, how we, how we. I don't know how we beat endless zombies. We just fear of safety, and then we fly over them with sigil. Oh, that's pretty good. I know. Should we just fear of safety first, or uh, sigil first? So next time we get sigil like, first. They have two cards in hand. Blast zone's a little scary though. If they can put it like five, you have to put it on six, right? No five. So they can go one, two, one, two, three. If they get another land, they can put four counters on it next turn. Or they can put one counter on it now. Uh, we'll play this first. I don't have any white? Jeez. You really done messed up. I'm not good at this game at all. Oh, we got a, a biddy link. A biddy link? Yeah, from Dan's. A, a biddy link. Wow, that thing is huge. $45 for that? That seems way too... Oh, it's on Wish. It's probably made of terrible, terrible materials. Probably gives you cancer. Probably have to fill it yourself, too. Oh, you might have to fill it yourself, actually. Oh, fill up with... with Fill up the bare skin with with cotton, not included. Yeah, that's probably why. Oh, you have to just, fill it yourself? Wow. Yeah, we're, I thought you were... Oh, fuck. That's pretty good. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Now what's our plan? Well, Michael. It's not looking good, my dude. It's not looking good, my dudes. It is not looking good today, my dudes. Oh, man. Getting real tired of these lands on top. How to pay to life. Why? And you can play a mana blossom for zero. What yeah. does that do? Gives your guy a counter. No, it doesn't. This guy gets a counter when it goes into the graveyard from the battlefield. Oh. <laughs> You're just having me pay. 
Did you just Day of Judgment for those two guys? <clears throat> that doesn't seem worth it. You don't seem worth it. That's well, why your dad left. He was like, I'm out. Peace. <laughs> Wish.com. Where you'll wish you didn't order from us. Wow, that's, that's aggressive. There's a lot of mana blooms, and I'm not really thrilled with this card in the deck. I don't love it. And that card is a boo-boo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what now? It's what? It's boo-boo. That's crazy. Don't play the way I do for a course of this. Oh, I, I, I just didn't care. I don't watch, I don't, I don't Twitch much anymore, but above average fan, I hope you're happy and your soul is smiling bright. And in case I was told you, your aura is orange and it has been for you. Uh, dang it, buddy. You're, you ain't, you ain't kidding. What's a bad color of aura? You. Wow. Bad Michael B's. Till the day he dies. Huh. You okay? Huh. Let's go, man. I don't care. Just fucking do your scrying, man. There aren't any. There's no bad auras, Michael. Not even black. That's that's racist. <laughs> Is it? I'm at the color. I don't see colors, Michael. Are you colorblind? Yeah, actually, you fucking inconsiderate piece of shit. I don't believe you. <clears throat> it's all a marketing scheme. Maybe. Maybe. Mayor B. Mayor Arby's. I'm the mayor of Arby's. That's impressive. I'm really impressed by you. And your Arby's. Mike, yours is consistently light blue. I don't even know what that means. Actually, let's just play both of these. Look. Play you for one. Done. Draw a card. Play you for one. Done. Draw a card. You need to work harder to make it darker blue, which you want. I agree with that. Why don't you put your back into it, Michael? <laughs> I don't know what auras mean, though, so that doesn't mean anything to me. Candy corn plus peanut is quite good. How do you guys... What? Really? I imagine it just tastes like a honey roasted peanut, right? That's just me make. I just made that up. It's probably I don't know if it tastes. Well, like I bet it tastes like my favorite honey roasted Cheerios peanuts. What? What does that mean? What does that mean? What you just said? Nothing. <laughs> yeah, it does mean nothing. You could trade with it. Why would I want to do that? <clears throat> I'm just saying you could. I'm not going I'm to. I'm saying it's a good idea. I have things to do. Well, then you should trade with it. Because you want to lose. You have things to do. I have things to do in this game. Is that better? That is better. Yeah, put your glasses on. You I will. <laughs> well, geez. Here it comes. Here what comes? Too many candy corns. Here comes the old wipe the board again. Yep, didn't, never didn't have it. Till the day I die. This is like Valakub, but much slower, so it's more miserable. Yeah, I'd rather just kill me in one turn with Valakut. Just say the coot. More like Valakut. Is it? Vala shoot you in the face. Really? Yeah. Vala shoot you in the face. But you got a 2 4 now, so how can they win? They can't. They're basically dead. They're at 21. They have 10 turns to beat me. It's like never happened. I oh, know I got some water on my glasses. I got some water on my fake glasses. Girl. They're not fake glasses. One, they two, exist in the real world, Frank. Four. Put four counters on it. Till the day I die. Oh, yeah. Actually, we can go sigil. One, two, three, four, five. 
mana bloom and put a 4 4 into play. I think we have to do that. Do we have another Starfield in the graveyard? Fuck, both Starfields are in the graveyard if we do that. I still think I want to risk it for the biscuit. Oh, yes! Drawing that next turn is pretty, pretty bonkers. Can you hear me? Can you hear my groaning? Alright, well. Feels like we're okay here. Also, they have this now, so they can just exile our graveyard. That's pretty ridiculous, because then it's just like, Starfield of Nyx does nothing. What's going on? Some LSD. Wow, Sphinx is red for seven. That's a card, all right. Good lord. That's a pretty good draw. How many more of those does he have? Well, that's three. It's real good. It's real annoying. How many of those does he have exactly? Yeah. It's okay, they only have eight cards in hand. Oh look, another field of the dead. Can we just be on Field of the Dead in in, in this format too? Because there's no ghost quarter. Like Yeah, this is not fun. That's okay, they only have 13 power on the board. So you're saying there's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. We can do it. I believe in it. Notorious. Do, do, do. Oh my god, Undrum Tuna. My favorite of the undreamt tunas. Of all the undreamt fishes, you are my favorite. This is very annoying. Have you thought about the blue splash for detention sphere? I don't know. I just work here. I guess I'll choose this one. That'll probably get us out of it. Got him. Gotcha. Nope, that ain't gonna do it. All right. That was a fun... thing that we did. Do they put counters on things? Source some point which one does it? No, not really. Cast my one non-creature spell turn. None of these cards do anything against this deck, just to be clear. Nope. I mean, this might be decent. Good night, Dance. Dance, have a good night, buddy. 
it'll be missed. Michael, can you hear me? I think there's like no way you can beat this deck, right? I mean, no, because we're both playing grindy, like, late game decks, and, like, theirs is just better. Because they have a stupid destroy all things. They didn't have that, I think we had a shot, but. So, I think Phil. Did they mold the like Oblivion? Join the game, play first, begins at seven, begins the game at seven. Oh, they might have maybe kept a hand with zero cards, with zero lands, accidentally. Weird. I guess that's one way to win it. All right. Don't know what that was about. That's really strange. What the I fuck? Guess they didn't have time or something. I have no idea. That was weird. I am a lady. I am pretty toasted. Wow. Wow. I feel like you are. I feel like my stream is uh, frequently watched when you're toasted. Stay toasty, my friends. Yep, I don't think we should have won that, but uh, you know, you know, who knows? Who knows what? Who knows what magic does with your life? Their deck is so grindy. They're like, I can't, I can't do it again. I don't have it in me. Casey, have a good night, buddy. I mean, this stream is after work, so yes, you are correct. Never didn't have the wind. Yeah, I know. I didn't want to brag, but it it seemed like we were pretty unbeatable. I feel like you just want. I think I think we can take like two basic lands out for two like field of ruins. Seems relevant. Oh, look at this! Look at this red deck, and we're playing like Herald Courser Courser Sphere of Safety. It's just you stream so late, and I did bartender so shrug. Female symbol. But nevertheless, it's still true. It's still true. Let's get down to business to defeat the Hans. If you don't hit a second land, I don't even know why we're playing this game. If there's a land on top, oh god. Oh man. You ready for this? Oh boy, that's gonna be juicy. This is this is the end. And game two. No? You don't want a game two? This guy gives me life every time I... Oh, God. Oh, boy. Are there any ghostly prison effects we could board for zombie games? Yes, but the problem is, like, we already have two Sphere of Safeties in the decks, and they're not really doing anything because they just have our of... The, the card that wipes all the permanents away. So, like, it only works until they find that, and we're not putting enough pressure on to really, like make them find it sooner <clears throat> what now you're leaving unbelievable unbelievable on drum tuna dan's with the host dan's is a wonderful human being you might say she's the host with the most huh you don't say I do. I do say. Mm. Uh oh, soak the flames. Get busy stoking. The oh. stoke ain't no joke. Yes, it is. It's a joke. No, it's not. Well, they're going to do this first, then they're going to do it. That's a better choice. Much better play. I am the host. I'm listening. I'm listening. Okay. Okay. All these guys are fat boys. Okay. I'm just going to take it. We got a six, though? I guess we just... We're not... Uh, I'll take eight. Block here. Interesting. Hot sun beating down. 
That's Michael B. And he lives in the ground. I'm going to cycle this one. I want to hit a land. We did it. So we can go Herald. Land. This guy for two, actually. Two. Done. Gain a life. I might be drunk, but I always thought Anon Chronicle was an underrated card. It was good in the format. It was it was legal in. It was good in that standard format. Okay. These, they keep killing these guys. It's really sad. Sphere of Safety. They just can't win against the Sphere of Safety, right? What is this? Six? Oh, Stoke Plancher. Michael lives in a biscuit factory. It's true. Stone field. And I can go remove a counter if I want. Two, three, four, five. How do you win this game when you gotta pay three for all your creatures to attack even once? I don't think you can. I wish fairies was a deck. A little uh, a little outside of this time frame. Yeah. That was a little, a little earlier. This deck needs a boons hater. That'd be super aggro. Look at all my fruits. <laughs> Stop zooming in. Enhance. Enhance. Okay. That guy's great when you can attack. When you're tapped out, though, that's eh, not as good. Now that guy's never gonna... Nope, that's not how this works. Yep, that's too bad. Okay, so if I just play a second one, they basically can't win, right? So now they have to pay X for all their attacks. They have to pay three mana for, for every attacker they want. Cheese. Cheese is right. What's your favorite kind of cheese? Parmesan. That's true. My second favorite cheese... I think it's cheddar. Only the sharpest of cheddars, though. Like a nice, real sharp. So sharp that it cuts you. Cuts like a knife. How much is that, man? Uh, so we were watching, me and Felipe watched a video where you can get this large-ass Parmesan cheese wheel. Uh-huh. Uh, for like 900 bucks on Costco. How long does it last? It's 72 pounds, so you you tell me. No, I mean, like, how long, like, well, it, it goes bad eventually, right? It's Parmesan cheese, man. What does that mean? It means it's already old as fuck. <laughs> it's aged for 72 pounds. It's for, for 24 months, man. Uh, orders are shipped Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Four Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Imported from Italy and made with the freshest milk from famous Parma and Reggio Emilio provinces in Italy. The apex of Italian cheese making and a symbol of Italian culture and civilization. Only nine hundred dollars, but would last you a long time, dude. It's seventy-two pounds, man. Where would you even put it? Don't you have to keep it in a certain condition? You put it up your bee hole or something, man. What do you want me to? I don't it's know. It's not gonna fit, man. Uh, yeah, I know. You're right. That's probably true, I guess. Um, Let's take out these. Like someone comes into your house and you're like, what's that over there? Oh, that's just our cheese wheel. Do you guys not know my, you, you don't know about my cheese wheel? You have to cut it up and shred it yourself. Game three life with though. this bow of Nylea seems pretty decent. Yeah. <clears throat> Cuts both ways. This red has no way of dealing with enchantments, so I feel like this matchup is like really hard for them. Are you exploding? Yes. What's the shipping cost? Shipping and handling is included in the nine hundred dollar cost. Oh, not bad then. Should we get it? Yeah, man. Let's go for it. Three way split. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. Oh, 
how much does membership cost? I actually don't know how much it costs because membership costs. Oh, that's not bad. Executive members? Woo! This for high dollar sallies. High dollar sally! Won't you better slow your sally down? Yeah. You have to start... You have to start putting Parmesan on everything, man. No. If someone broke into your house, they would take your cheese wheel. That ish is money. Wow, look at this guy getting in there for two whole damages. Oh, sweet Michael Bees. He lives in the garbage can. So next time we can go Corsor of Crucifix, play a land, play Baffling End. The worst thing you can do is add moisture, usually natural humidity and heat to old cheese and try to save it against super cheese aids pretty quickly. Super cheese. You need like some kind of dry place to put. I just started eating by the chunks. Eating by the chunks. Yeah. Eaten by the chunks, eat, eaten by the chunks. I think that's... God, they're just killing all my things. That doesn't mean they're not killing you, though. It's true. I can just get three life a turn. It's pretty good, right? It's scary with how much power they have on the board, so... Well, they have three, so... So that just nets even. Nets even. Not to be Steven the Nets even. Oh, they're gonna skull crack us. Okay, no skull crack. Skull crack legal? Yeah, it's in uh gate crash, right? That's a mean card. That is a mean card. Give me that thing. You hear about those people who died eating artisanal hipster cheese in Brooklyn? No, that sounds terrible though. Vacuum sealers are pretty amazing in general. Oh, that guy's a real bitch. I wish I saved this baffling in now. Oh, King of Life? Yeah, that's pretty good. Yep, that's pretty, pretty. I guess we have com Commune to get something here. Come on, baffling in one time, one time, one time, one time, one time. Courser is good. Hmm. It blocks, I guess. No change. You tried. I did. It also means we're not drawing uh, that Temple Garden. Oh boy, God! Frostodon, rampaging Frostodon's a real biscuit. It's pretty good. Do you have another st stoke the flames? Oh, you're just going face with that. Okay. All right, so we're trying to commune baffling end, and then gain some life. It's a gigs for me, dog. I, mean, I think we're dead. One, two, three. Shit, that sucks. That's frustrating. Yep, that'll do. I guess we'll just take Harold. Wow, do we have a way to get that and play it? That's... Oh, that's unbelievable. Hope we somehow survive. No, they're just going to kill us with the stupid land, right? Well, they don't have they don't have the mana for it. 
Yeah, if we can fade a turn without getting shocked or whatever. It's slim. Oh, no, we're dying from these. Never mind. We can't put creatures into play without dying, so. Oh, yeah. Guess we know what to save Baffling End for, huh? <laughs> Have you ever reversed here to stake and then I realized you don't need that much? Yeah. No. Yeah, I don't, uh... I have not done that actually. Have you ever ever seared a turkey? Once, yeah. Turkey. Um, isn't Baffling and worse than Silk Wrap? I don't think so. Are they just the same thing? They're the same card, except for if you get rid of Silk Wrap on the board, they get their creature back. If you get rid of Baffling in, they just get a three three. So. I mean, depends it, on the sitch. Yeah, definitely does. Um, sounds pretty bad. You could cycle this, so it's basically like having an opt. Yeah. Spicy. Spicy Gomer. I mean, if we can hit a green source on turn two, it's actually pretty good. We got Harold into Corsair. We need a second green source, though, unfortunately. I don't know. This deck, just like the last one, does not seem to be impressive. I don't know what I don't know what these people were doing to five O leagues. Like I don't know what they were playing against. I don't know why we're having worse. It's maybe it's worse luck or the decks just were. Uh, okay, that's great. Not the maybe the competition wasn't as good. You're good at this game. Yeah, I didn't want to brag, but I'll brag about it. God, they always kill this guy. Jesus Christ. Don't you have to take two there? That's where you want to be. Where you want to be. Ba -do -ba -do, ba -do -ba -do. No, with Baffling End, if they get rid of Baffling End, they just get a generic 3-3. Three, three. So, like, it, it exiles the creature for good, and then if it ever leaves the battlefield, they get a 3-3 three, three out of it, so... Guess I'll take four and hope I don't die anymore. Like that song I wrote? It's about, this is a song about death, Michael. One, two, three, bash and white. Interesting. Well, I gotta get rid of some things. I can't just have these guys steamroll over me. Plus, they have a baffling end for anything else. And then next turn, we have protection from the Hecma. Oh, I thought that cost less. Never mind. What? I thought you could have played Oh, you thought this that. was three? Yeah. No, I would have definitely played that if I could. Uh, I think Corsair will get reprinted in Theros. I don't think so. Maybe? Maybe. Yeah, when Baffling End leaves Battlefield, target opponent creates a 3-3, three, three, and you don't get, you don't get like, your creature back ever, which is pretty sweet. So if it's, like, a useful creature, or, like, if it has entered the Battlefield effects, like, you, they just don't get it back, which is great. I see a kitty cat, kitty cat, cat. I think we're taking one, so we don't have to draw this next turn. Okay. That's actually fine, because we can cycle it, so. Was, it for, was a vegetarian for four years, like ten years total in different spurts? Had to give it up to put as much as healthy weight as possible for work. Being a vegetarian feels great as long as you have enough uh, money to eat it. A diversified diet being a poor vegetarian uh, that's i think that's a that's completely true i also think that there's the, the, the amount of beyond and impossible products that are in the market right now are making it a lot easier like today i had an impossible whopper for lunch and i was very very tempted to just go to dunkin donuts because na nationwide they rolled out beyond sausages uh on their breakfast sandwiches oh really yeah oh snap so now you can get like an egg uh, so a beyond sausage egg and cheese biscuit at dunkin donuts and uh, I was like, that's pretty sweet. Because it's just like, so. there's so many more options now. Like, I can think of like three or four fast food places that I can go and get like awesome meat alternatives. Hey man, from now on, when I need to get a coffee, I'm just going to Dunkin' Donuts and get yourself a little Sammy. Dude, I would definitely do that. Especially because they serve breakfast all day. Breakfast all day. So this, we should take two from this. 
Yep, cool. What are you doing now? What's this? What's happening? What are you doing? St oh, skull crack. That's rude. I told you skull crack was in here. I knew they were going to be cracking. Crack that whip. That's a cycle. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Ooh. Cycle again. Well, now I'm just going to play this. I'll cycle at the end of the turn and play this thing. I'm going to get rid of this guy because they haven't had any other creatures, so maybe they just don't have any more creatures in the begin with. We're not going to block, and they're probably just going to attack with this instead of anything else, so. This is where they top deck Rampaging Frost and all. Plus, if you're a vegetarian, all you got to do is pluck some leaves off of a tree, and you got a salad 100% free. Oh, Wild wow. Slash dealt one? That's awesome. And they didn't have anything else? Good lord. Crack that whip! Don't skull crack me again, dude. Come on. Just stop it. Skull crack's a hell of a card. You ain't kidding. I'll just play Sigil. Well, I can play both. Oh, then do that. Okay. They actually could have killed me if they played Skullcrack first and then played Wild Slash because Wild Slash would have dealt uh, the full three because it can't be prevented. Eggs are not basically meat. No, eggs are unfertilized. You're not eating fertilized eggs. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, man, we're getting lucky here. Not super lucky, but <laughs> lucky enough, I guess. Go to two. Keep halfway in your own guy to make a 4-4. Uh, it's a creature and opponent controls, so we just play it and we don't have a counter. Uh, or we don't we don't have to target anything, rather, so. I mean, we need a flying blocker, so. I also overpaid for it because I'm just terrible. Yep, so if they draw any three damage spell, we're dead. Cool. So I think we're technically like 1-3 with this deck too. Yeah, it's not been good. I'm really going over these decks so you guys don't have to. So that's that's where we're going to leave it. I don't think this deck was great. Um, I feel like it's actually kind of clunky. I think the mana blooms aren't great. They're just kind of too cute. Like, it's it's a great combo with Eidolon. So I'm like, oh, I'll cast it, draw a card, cast it, draw a card, cast it, draw a card. But like, I'd rather just have more active cards. You know, like, I mean, if you don't have Eidolon, this this is just not great. It's, it's supposed to be comboing with Sigils and Eidolons, right? But, like, I feel like any one enchantment that does a better job here is just better, right? So, anyway. Either way, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check out on patreon.com slash franklaport. It's a great way to, to ship a dollar, two dollars a month if that's uh, if that's an easy way for you guys to help out. Uh, you can also check me out on coolstuffinc.com. I have a new article that went up just today. Please check that out on coolstuffinc.com and leave a comment in the article. It's a great way to help me out. And uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.